Hey everyone, it's Squash Lemon here, and we're doing another episode of Fallout 1 Blinds. And, uh, the last episode we left off right in front of this little gang warehouse. And I decided, off screen of course, um, not that I actually did anything, just, you know, I just decided that instead of going on a massive rampage and killing them all, I want to do a little bit of research about them first, find out what they're all about, figure out how much of a threat they actually are. And then I'll decide if I want to kill them or not. So let's just go ahead and leave this hotel now. Um, these people don't really seem all that important. They don't really do anything. Uh, that shack's just kind of... Well, you know, who's this guy? Let's talk to him. I'm busy. Leave me alone. Yeah, okay, fine. All right, well, let's just kind of keep moving along. I don't really think there's anything, anything useful, so... Let's just go to the next area. Ooh, gizmos. Uh, let's talk to these people first. Mister, I'd really be happy if you were to get rid of that damn dog. Why? Uh, it won't let us back into our house, that's why. Okay. Oh, hold on. Um. Shoot. Um. <laughs> Did you just see him running? Uh, okay, um, I actually think there was a little more dialogue there that I missed out on, so I'm just gonna load up real quick. I don't know, I just get that feeling that I could've, because there was another option there, and I felt like there could've been more dialogue to grab from that, so I'm just gonna do a quick little load and save, because it's not that far away. Don't worry, guys, I promise I won't be doing that too much. I'm trying to keep this as blind as possible. I like the little zigzag run he does. It's kind of retarded. All right, let's talk to these people one more time. Talk to this dude. Okay, why? Isn't it your dog? Uh, it was the pet of a traveler. When the traveler died, this damn dog just plopped its furry ass down on my doorstep and wouldn't leave. It's been there for days. Who was this traveler? I don't know. Some guy. He came from the east. He said uh, anyone could get past the Deadlands to the east. He ran afoul of Gizmo, trying to interfere with Gizmo's business, so Gizmo and a couple of his boys beat him up and threw him off the casino roof. The Traveler broke his damn fool neck and died. The dog was pissed. What did the Traveler look like? The guy was tall, dark-haired, and a little graying around the edges. He was dressed in all black leather, like, uh, that's a good idea in the desert. Carried a shotgun... Uh, he had some funny accent, the dog was his consistent companion, and followed him everywhere, except, oh, excuse me, uh, appreciate the gossip. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, let's go ahead and check out Gizmos, which I believe is the casino, and yes it is. And why don't we play some roulette? I guess, okay, there we go. <sighs> Place your bets. You currently have 497 caps. How many would you like to bet? I think I want to bet. We'll do. We'll do um, a big bet. We'll do 50 caps. Hey, push. Aw, so that means that I just stayed even. Um, I don't want to take my luck. You know, I, I mean, I don't want to uh, uh, risk my luck. So I'm gonna say no thanks for now. And yeah, let's just see if we can get past this door here. Okay, and I don't know if this is like a high rollers area because it's separate and there's guards. Who's this guy? What are these little teller machines? Is that what they are? Oh, they're slot machines. Oh, cool. Let's let's try that one then. Five. Winner. Um, you want to play again? Sure. Five caps again. You push. Uh, five caps. <laughs> I'm pushing every time. Um, sorry, better luck next time. One more try. Winner, I push. I just want to keep going until I win something. No more money. Um, one more try. I push again. Um, I'm getting addicted to this. One more try. One more try. Push again. One more try. <laughs> Do I want to keep going? Um, okay, one more, and then that's it, I promise. I'm not going to give all my money away. 
Oh, okay, I gotta deal one more. Ah, no, I'm gonna say no thanks. Yeah, I didn't lose that much money. Like 30 bucks, whatever. Alright, so I believe that that big fat man over there is Gizmo, so let's go ahead and see if we can talk to him. Get your butt in here and sit down. We got some business to discuss. Oh my god, he is a fat, fat man. He sort of has the distinguishing characteristics of a pig. I mean, literally, he just does not look like healthy at all. Where does he get all the food he's eating? I don't understand. Alright, um... Looks like there's enough butt in there already. <laughs> I gathered as much. What do you want? <laughs> I want to answer like that, but I don't want to... Uh... <laughs> it looks like there's enough butt in there already. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, I want to answer like that, but I feel like if we do, then it's going to, like, do something weird to the quest. So I'm just going to say I gathered as much. Alright, here's the deal. Junk Town, it ain't what it used to be. The only reason it's still here is because of my gambling establishment. <laughs> Even so, Killian's been breathing down my neck, and I'm starting to take it personal. <laughs> and that's where you come in, Slick. Alright. Um, what do you want me to do? What I think is you're going to take him out for me, you know? No witnesses, just in, over, out. I'm not actually sure who this guy is. Is he the mayor? Is that who it is? Um, why don't you send one of your own goons in? I wouldn't work for you. Ah, oh, God, I hate this thing. It happens every time I try to do it. Sorry about this, guys. I don't know how to fix it. I've tried before. Somebody said you can press F1 a couple times, and I've tried that, too. And it just doesn't do anything, so I don't know. Um, Why don't you just send one of your own goons in? I would. But there must be no connection between me and Killian's unfortunate device. <laughs> so in other words, he just doesn't want to get his hands dirty. I'm actually kind of looking at the cars right here in the background. They look kind of neat. Yeah, it's like a lawnmower. And then there's all the cars piled up. I think that's cool. Um, I would... Oh, uh, makes sense. Oh, this again... Jesus, twice in the same conversation. Ugh. Sorry, guys. And like I said, I just don't know how to fix this. I've tried uh, so many different things. Really? <sighs> okay. Um, well, I don't really actually know who this guy is, Killigan. So... I'm assuming he's a good guy and that this dude's an evil person. Um, how much are you willing to pay? Thousand caps, no more, no less. Thousand caps, I could use that money. Um, you call that a reward? If I'm to whack the guy, I'm gonna need more money than that. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. I think you're worth more. Fifteen hundred. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that's about, what, a dollar a pound for you? Forget it. <laughs> the fat jokes in this are hilarious. Um, sure, why not? Now you're talking. <laughs> I knew you'd see it my way. As proof, I want the dog tags Killian wears around his neck. You get them, you get your money. Now, just get. And don't cross me. I still got the kneecaps from the last one who tried all right perfect so we get our first quest I guess in this area doors locked all right <sighs> so we gotta kill somebody named um, Killigan I think so that's interesting and okay let's check out the bar why not it's locked. Alright. 
And I guess, let's see, is there anywhere else to go? Not really. And is there anything in this at all, or is this really just like a rundown shack? Yeah, it's just a rundown shack. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Pretty small little town. I guess they weren't really kidding when they said that. Um, the last thing to really do, I guess, is just to kind of check out these people that are over here in what looks to be a makeshift fighting ring or arena. There might actually be another area out there, but I want to check this out first. Talk. Talk to Gustav if you want to bet. Uh, I guess this is Gustafer. So, uh, want to lay a bet on the fight? No thanks. Might have asked a few questions though. Sorry, I don't have time. Maybe later. Okay. Can I talk to this person? No. Uh, what about this guy? I'm busy. Leave me alone. Alright. Um, I'll put a bet down. Why not? What are the odds? Um, what do you want to bet on? Soul or Challenger? Odds favor soul winning. Cost is 25 caps to bet. You get 50 if you win, betting on Soul. 100 if you win, betting on the Challenger. Um, Soul. I just want to play it safe, I guess. Uh, would you like to wait here until the fight starts at 2 a.m.? Nah, I got better stuff to do. I'll be back later. You forfeit your bet. Well, what time is it right now? Yeah, I got time. Alright, let's go check out this upper part of town, and then we'll come back. Oh wait, hold on, there's another building here I missed. Is there anything actually in this place? Let's see, check out the bookshelf. Nothing. Um, check out the dresser. Nothing. Alright. This place looks like it's a pretty run-down little area. Alright, let's go and check out up here. Okay, so that just exits Junktown, which I don't want to do. Entrance. Crash. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, let's just go ahead and do the fight thing then. Forget it. Um, hold on, did I already... Hold on, I think I... Did I already give my money, though? I did. So... Um... Sure, what the heck. But, I mean, I just double bid it? I'm confused. Oh! That's a scorpion that he's fighting. Looks like he's losing, too, which means I might lose a ton of money. Which I'm not happy about. Oh boy, and he died. Ah, oh, he jipped me. He said that he was fighting a man, not a giant scorpion. What a jip! What a freaking jip! <laughs> He's laying on the ground. Tough guy, eh? I bet I could take you. Um. Well, nice to meet you. I'll see you later. Hmm. Okay. Well. Hmm. Uh, this town. I guess it's living up to its reputations, just like Vegas, where I'm losing my money, and you know, they're taking all my money. <laughs> I've already lost like a hundred caps, I'm so sad. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, I accidentally stopped the recording. So, anyway, I just restarted it, and we're back again. So let's just continue back on our way. <coughs> so let's see, um, not really sure what I want to do now. Um, I think that I'll go and try to talk to the target that that big fat man was suggesting for me to kill. And I believe that that's the mayor? I forget his name, though. It's like Alan? Alistair? Or something like that? 
Come on. I don't know, he just told me where the target was. Actually, um... Shoot, you know what? Does it say my pit boy? No, it does not. Hmm. Maybe I have to look at my map. No. Eh, whatever, that's fine. I'll look at it later, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go talk to this guy, and I'm gonna see what's up. Uh, I don't know if I want to kill him or not. I know it's a, a lot of money. Thousand caps, whatever it is. Um, let's just go ahead and... Actually, you know what? Before we talk to him, just in case it does something like, um... Puts us in a situation where we have to kill him or not. Um, I'm just gonna make a quick save, and now we're gonna talk well, to him. howdy. What can I do for you today? Uh, let's see here. Um... What do you know about this Gizmo character? Gizmo owns the casino, named it after himself. He very very egotistical. around him. All right, um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, he's dangerous. I'm here to kill you for him. Um, I'll say... Ooh, dang it. Ugh. I thought I fixed this. I guess not. Whatever. I don't know. I messed around with the options a little bit when the recording stopped, and I thought I fixed it, but I guess not. Sorry about this, guys. Um, anyway, let's see. It says, um, I'll say that Fat Slab just hired me to kill you. Uh, why don't you do something about him? So, I mean, I assume that I have two options here, or three options. Um, my one option is, yeah, he's dangerous. So, in other words, I think if I pick that option, I'll get to kill him. And if I choose the other option, essentially, I'll be telling him exactly where Gizmo is and what's going on, and uh, he'll probably go arrest him. So, in other words, I have a good or a bad option, and I think that, um, I'm gonna go with the good option, because that's just sort of who I am. I always play the good character. Um, hopefully, that's a good result. Maybe we'll get some money for it, whatever. So let's just go ahead and pick it. Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. The way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place, or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? Sounds a bit risky, but um, considering that this isn't exactly the the high tech age of computers that it is today, it's sort of a post apocalyptic future. Um, I think I should be okay. I'm not too worried about it. I guess. Uh, sounds kind of dangerous. What do I get in return? I tell you what. Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours, no charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? Sounds pretty fair to me. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Alright. I owe ya. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need it. Alright, so I get the bug in the wiretap. Let's check my inventory real quick. See if it's an actual object, or if it just happens to be... Oh yeah, look at that, it does. Uh, it just says it's a bug. Tape recorder. I wonder if I actually have to equip them. I don't know. Um, for now, we'll just leave it like that. And um, I might actually do both options. You know, like show you what happens with both of them. I'm kind of curious to myself anyway. Um, I don't know. I, I just think that money in this game is going to be important, but I just don't think that um, killing the sheriff of a town is such a good idea. Although at the same time, Gizno was saying that He's basically the central reason why people come to this town. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, essentially, does my pit boy actually tell me? Hmm. Because like I said, the pit boy tells you the quests and all that stuff, but I'm looking at it and it's not really... Oh, wait, maybe that's it. Auto maps? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Eh, screw it. Alright, let's just go ahead and give this a try. Alright, so I guess I, I I don't know if I'm supposed to wear the bugs or not, so we're just gonna try without it first. Did you finish the job yet? Um oh god, this stupid color thing is gonna show up every time, isn't it? Uh no, I did not finish the job yet. No tags, no money. Hmm. Maybe if I talk to one of his guards. Alright, maybe not. Um Did you finish the job yet? What if I said yeah? Then give me the dog tags. Uh, what if what if I don't want to give them to you? Um, I lied. I don't have them. I had them, but I lost them. Um, well, I lost them. Yeah. 
You know, you're crummy. Alright, let's try the other option then. You're back. You know, I had to hire someone else to do your work. Okay, so that's not what I wanted to have happen. So let's go ahead and reload that. And I'm going to have to talk to him again, of course, as always. Well, howdy. Um, what can I do for you today? Yeah, owns the casino. he's dangerous. He himself. Actually, I'm going to try the other option this time, him. just to see what happens. Uh, yeah, he's dangerous. I'm here to kill him for you. Okay, so that option basically just... Yeah, he's just going to try and kill me, so... That's not what I want to do. Well, howdy. What can I do for what you? What do you know Gizmo about the Gizmo character? Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. Where I figure uh, what do I you need get? to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? I don't know, actually. Uh, let's see. What do I get in return? Sounds dangerous. I'll tell you what. Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. All right. I don't know, actually. Um, I guess I'll try and plant a bug, because I don't really have that much perception and all that stuff, like, for, um, you know, the characters. So let me let me go in my inventory. Where's that bug at? I believe this is the bug. Yeah, that's the bug. I'm going to switch it out for the gun, just so I can be unequipped when I'm going in there. You know, so I'm not just holding it in my hand. I don't know if that affects the game or not, but I, you know, I thought it'd be stupid if you did that. I want to actually even be able to complete this quest now that I think about it without shedding some blood. Just because, um... You know, uh, just because I, I think that to paint a bug, I have to get in there somehow. And I think the only way I can do that is if I use a lockpick. I don't really have any lockpicks. Let me see. Can I... Hold on. If I go into my inventory, and, uh... That's the one I want to click on. Can I... Like, can I plant it? That does nothing. Um, I'm actually going to make a save here in case I do something stupid. And I have a feeling I'm going to be doing something stupid, so let's just... Like, I want to see if I can, like, plant it... Like, where, where do I have to actually plant this thing? <laughs> I wonder if I could plant it right there. That would just be silly. Um... Yes, you know that that's working. Um, alright, what, what if I tried the wire, then? Let me see. Where's that wire at? There it is. Okay, so let's... Let's go ahead and have that. Now, let's make another quick little save. I just don't want to have to keep, you know, reloading these saves. I just want to, like, have a save as close Did you finish the job yet? Um, yeah, sure did. No, not yet. Uh... Actually, you know, he won't borrow with me. Okay, what about... Um... I don't even know what the guy's name was. Hmm... Um... Sure, I did. Then give me the dog tags. What if I don't want to give them to you? No problem. I take them off your dead body. Well, I had them, but they were stolen. No tags, no money. You come back without the tag. I wonder if that's enough. Like, if, that, if him saying that's enough. I don't know. Because the quests are very specific in this game. It's a lot of just kind of hit or miss guessing. At least for this specific one. I don't know um, about the other ones in the future, but we'll see. Yeah, so this is a lot of just running back and forth and checking things out, but... Um, you know, like I said, there's not really a clear objective. I'm a little bit lost. I'm checking my pit boy, and I thought that that would give me... Because these are supposed to give me, like, a status on my quest, I thought, but... Maybe not, I don't know. Well, howdy. Um, what can I do for you today? What do I have to do to help you get rid of Gizmo? You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. Or plant this wiretap in his office. Either way. And we got him. Okay, so apparently I don't have... 
A confession? What if I... Okay, hold on. What if I stole his dog tags? Is that a possibility? Well, howdy. Um, what can I do for you today? Could I, like, buy them off him or something like that? God, he's got a lot of money. I want some of that money. I also want a deagle. That looks cool. Um... Like, I want to see if there's an option to ask him to give him his dog tags or not. Hmm. Not really. I don't see an option for that. Like, I'm almost wondering if I come back here during the nighttime, if it would, like, change the positioning of the people. Now what the Uncle Sam hell do you think you're doing here? <laughs> oh, good. Um, let's see here. Uh, I got lost. Oh, this is your place. Well, I broke in. You're damn straight this is my place. Now get the hell out before I make your head a wall decoration. <laughs> okay, I'm going. Okay, so apparently he gets angry if I try to do that. You again. What do you want now? Oh, he's kind of pissed at me. I don't like that. Um... Alright, so I'm going to try and reload it one more time, and I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to rest, if it's possible. And if not, then I'll just do a little quick travel sequence, because I think that if I come back here during the night time, that um, people will be doing different things. So, let me see if I can figure out how to do that real quick. Um, I think this is the rest key, so... What time is it right now? It is 8.39 in the morning. Or at night. No, that's morning. Um, let's just do rest until evening. And I guess that's it? Um, Alright, I guess we gotta rest a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and do two hours. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now it's nighttime. Let's see if Gizmo is still in his office. He is. Hmm. See, I, I think this is his office, and that's like his sleeping quarters, and he's gonna put the bug in his office. So, I don't know. Hmm. Alright, well, let me go back and check the other guy and see if he's there. Actually, also, I want to check out the bar, because the bar was locked before. I think it might be open during the nighttime, but that's just a theory. I don't know for sure. But let's go and check that theory out, to see if there's anything to do in the bar. Oh, yeah, look at that. Everyone's in here now. Let's talk to the barkeep. Uh, welcome to the scum pit. What can I do for you? That is a very lovely name for a bar. Um, let's see here. What's that trophy on the shelf? Uh, that's not a trophy. It's an urn. It contains my wife's ashes. Besides this bar, it is the most important thing in my life. Oh. Um, let's see. Looking for information. What's the scoop on this town? Well, just over there is the West of Gizmos Casino. Um, can I get a drink? Nuka Cola. Ooh, Nuka Cola. I think I actually might want one of those just to see what they look like in this game. Sweet. So let's look at our inventory. See what the Nuka Cola looks like. Oh, they look like Nuka Cola Quantums, actually. That's kind of weird. I don't really like the color. I don't know. It shouldn't be that blue. It should be more like a Coca Cola look to it. Interesting. Alright, well, the bar looks kind of dull. Let's just go ahead and talk to everyone. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, what the fuck? Um, what? I'm just. Did they just. Re did that really just happen? Like, he really just blew that guy's arm off right in front of me. I, I'm so confused. What just happened? Um, well, let's loot his dead body. Ooh, some armor. I don't have any of that yet. Let's let's actually equip that. I want some armor. I've been dying to get some armor to put on. Leather armor. Nice. Let me see what stats it gives me. So let's see. Right now, I have zero for everything. So it gives me about a, it looks like a twenty to twenty uh, about a twenty percent bonus for everything. 
Which is better than I had before. Plus it looks kind of stylish. Now I look like one of those thugs. Um, I'm gonna talk to the waitress. Uh, why did you scream about Soul? Soul's my boyfriend. He's really good to me. Um, okay. Who owns the bar? Neil owns the bar. He's a good guy. Always treat me right. Uh, we used to date. I thought he was like an older guy, and you seem to be younger, so it's a little weird. Uh, but he got a little too serious for my liking. I don't want to be a widow. Alright. Um, not really helping me too much. Who's this guy? Another new face. Travelers here are a dime a dozen, but you have the look of someone different. Care to join me for a drink? Um, sure. Why not? Delightful. I hope you don't mind uh, your drink well watered. They treat beer here like it's a patted, potted plant. Oh, I see. Um, oh, I get the joke. The water, or the beer's watered down and they treat it like a potted plant. I get the joke. Okay. Uh, so what's your story? Um, I could ask you the same in you in the interest of Amity. Uh, I suppose I'll tell you first. I, I'm called Tycho. Uh, come from the east, what used to be called Nevada. That's a pretty long trip. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, decided to take it easy for a while. This place shows some promise just as soon as somebody cleans up some of the scum. Um, yeah, I noticed. What do you know about these jerks? Uh, there's two grades of scum here. One of them's the skulls. Again, that hangs out in the back of the Mercedes crash house. Uh, they're just grade B twerps, and I was still reading that. Uh, but the other ones answer to a fat freak whose name you can probably guess. Uh, runs the casino. These guys are organized and dangerous. I see. Thanks for the info. Uh, whoa, not so fast. We never finished introductions, remember? Uh, what's your name? Uh, Squatch Lemon. Good to meet you. Step carefully, friend. Alright, let's talk to this guy. What do you want? Um... Hey, good singing. Your singing makes my ears bleed. <laughs> uh, I didn't really hear any singing, but uh, I'm, I'm assuming he's alright, I guess. Thanks, what can I do for you? Just felt like t uh, tossing some money in that hat, so to speak. Where did you learn to sing? I picked it up here and there. Learned a little from an old singer at the hub. And got some music from the scavs and added some? In the boneyard, you know. Just take some practice, okay? I uh, just feel like some tossing some money in your hat, so to speak. Thanks, it's hard being a starving artist. You got anything else you need to know? Just ask. Um, do you do music anywhere else? Yeah, I sing at the hub sometimes. I've visited the Brotherhood of Steel. Ooh, nice. The Brotherhood of Steel is in the first one. I like that. And the Additum and the Caravans. Why do you ask? Um, I need to know how to get to the Brotherland. Oh, excuse me, the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood is a couple days west, and a little but north of here. Uh, don't go there, though. They won't let you in unless you're with a caravan. You need anything else? Um, how do I get to Additum? Uh, head southwest of the hub. Additum is sort of like a boneyard. It's a small, semi-industrial town. I don't like it much. Uh, what do you want? What else do you want? Can you tell me how to get to the hub? The hub? Oh, it's just a short distance down south of the junk town. What else? Never mind. Alright, so... Oh, actually, there's one more person I can talk to. Ah, uh, just a peasant. Alright, um... Well, I think this is a decent place to end the video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching, and I will catch you guys next time.